Welcome to Cosmos Safari. I'm your host, Dave Farina. Have you ever wondered how to find M42, the Great Orion Nebula? In today's episode of our Deep Sky with Dave Messier Marathon series, I will walk you through my four-step method for finding this amazing winter sky wonder in your telescope. If you find this video helpful, please consider liking this video and subscribing to the channel. If you have a different method for finding M42, or want to provide me with feedback on the video, have suggestions or requests for future videos, or if you have any other questions regarding my star hopping techniques, things about space or telescopes, please leave them in the comments below. To find M42, first you will have to have a basic understanding of the night sky. I suggest using tools such as the Sky Safari app on your cell phone or tablet. In today's video, I will be using Starry Night 8 Pro, a desktop software to help guide you through finding this object. Starry Night also provides their live sky feature that provides you with a link between your desktop software and your phone or tablet running Sky Safari, which makes planning a breeze. I'll provide you with links in the descriptions below for each of these software tools. M42, also known as NGC 1976, is a very bright magnitude 4 diffuse nebula located in the constellation of Orion. This brightness makes M42 one of the most easily accessible nebulae even from light polluted skies. However, dark sky sites provide significantly better views due to the high contrast between the dark sky and the brightness of the object. Step 1. Find the constellation. At my location in the northeast US, Orion rises in the southeastern sky just after midnight by mid-October, and as early as 6 p.m. by the month of January. Orion is easily located as it is one of the sky's brightest constellations, and it's home to a number of deep sky objects, including today's target, M42. Step 2. Find the object using star hopping. M42 is located just below Orion's belt in the Sword of Orion at a distance of 1,344 light years from Earth. The bottom easternmost star of the belt, Alnitak, is our starting point for our observation. Using a Telrad, I place my outer 2 degree ring on the star Alnitak and draw an imaginary line between Alnilam, the center star of the belt, and the center of the Telrad's inner ring and continue across to the opposite side of the 2 degree radius ring. I then move the scope and telrad down by 2 degrees in this direction. This is the approximate location of M42. Step 3. Move your eye to your magnified finder. Once I've roughly centered the scope, I move my magnified finder scope. In dark skies, M42 should be visible in a 40 to 50 millimeter finder scope. Center M42 in your finder scope. If you cannot see the object in your finder or don't have a magnified finder, it's now time to move to your main eyepiece. Step four, move your eye to your widest field eyepiece. Always start your observations at a wide field eyepiece, such as a 30 plus millimeter eyepiece. Once you have found and centered your object in your eyepiece, you can then magnify the image using a lower millimeter eyepiece. One of the common misconceptions of many people just getting into observational astronomy is that they hope to see with their eyes what they're viewing in images they see online. To your eye, M42 will appear in most telescopes as a fuzzy cotton ball patch of the sky. So if you're already seeing this and second guessing yourself, you probably already found it. Thank you so much for watching today's episode of Deep Sky with Dave. This is part of my Messier Marathon series of videos in which I plan to go through all 110 Messier objects. If you found this video helpful, please consider liking this video and subscribing to the channel. And click the notification bell if you want to find out each time I upload a new video. If you have a different method for finding M42, want to provide feedback on this video, or if you have suggestions or requests for future videos, or have any questions at all about astronomy, 
telescopes, space, or rockets, please leave them in the comments below. Thank you from Dave Farina here at Cosmos Safari. Clear skies.